And Anna, first for this channel, we're doing a giveaway. So very simple, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and comment on either whether or not you like the new look when it's lowered or something to do with this guard. Whether you like it or not, I know it's very polarizing, so give me your hate, give me your love, tell me what you think about the guard, uh, and you'll go in the draw to win this uh, Scarls quick release hub. Welcome back modifiers to another day. Today we are doing the radiator on this thing because uh, it is rooted. So I glued up the where the crack is and it actually sort of it stopped, but we have a nice new Mishimoto red just sort of chilling right there. And this guy becoming an artist with Bob. How much are you in now? What, four liters on that door maybe? Too much. Too much bog. Too much bog. Right in there. <laughs> Anyway, we've got to pull this thing uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, just whip off the fan shroud, move that that way, unbolt these two bolts, undo the hoses, take that out, and we're going to fully flush the system and put in the new rad because I know it's going to be full of crap and I don't want to go through all the new rad. So, yeah, let's get to it. Oh, I'm quite happy the coolant's actually a lot cleaner than it is. I use red uh, coolant, it's over there, um, and it's way more red than it was rusty. So. We cleaned out the rad the last time it was out and it, man, the junk that came out of it. So I'm hoping to pull that out, flush the system. That should stay nice and clean and we won't destroy our nice new race radiator. Uh, also, uh, today we're going to be making this less sort of standout-ish uh, by adding... A really ridiculous sticky. By adding, oh. by adding... Oh no, we're making it more standout-ish. Sorry, I got it the wrong way around. My bad. Yeah, no, so I wasn't quite happy with how much this made people look at me. So we're going with a uh, sticker bomb wrap, just for now, because uh, I, I'm not, I don't want to paint this and then wait to paint the other bits. I'll do it all in one hit, so when I fix those, I'll paint it, maybe. We'll see how this goes. Um, if I don't get pulled over with this on the guard, then the police are just fucking sleeping. So, if they don't pull me over with that, they're sleeping. I mean, you want to pull the dude over that's got a sticker bomb on their right, on that guard. For real? Like, honestly, I'm surprised I haven't been pulled over already. Let's get the radiator out and then we'll get this guard sticker bombed. That's what we want. We want it till it's clear. Alright, there we go. Just spitting out nice clear water now, so uh, I'll turn it off and plumb it all back. Well, actually, no, we've got to put the new rad in and then I'll plumb it all back in. Uh, put a nice chunk of coolant in there and we'll be good. I'm glad that we're getting rid of this junky ass thing. It's pretty rough. Mad dash out to uh, STA parts or Sedgitans to get these um, black uh, radiator hoses. We've got top and bottom. Uh, yeah. Actually, look pretty good. Hopefully, they fit. They do look. They look a bit smaller than those, but I think it's just an illusion. Anyway, so we'll get these on and we can get our new rad in, which is gonna be sick. Fully sick. All right, let's get to it. Wow, oh, that hose was ridiculously tight to get on. Um, so I had to stretch it a little bit and lube up. But we got it, we got it. Now for the next one. Yeah, that one's gonna be hella tight as well. So I'm gonna stretch these. And all I'm doing is using a pair of pliers. In there like that. And just stretch them out a little bit. Uh, okay, let's try to get this in with one hand. Well, fucking it up. do <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> I think we're in. Ooh, it's in the hole. That looks hot. Fully hot. Yeah, buddy. That's gonna be fully sick. Oh yeah, this is starting to look pretty cool. <laughs> Happy I bought this little red. Uh, even came with a cap as well, which was really surprising. For the money, it was, um, uh, it was an all right deal. Although the cap 
For the money, uh, I'm pretty stoked. I don't know how good the cap is, but I guess we'll find out tonight when I hit some boost. But I'm happy, man. That's just looks fully sick. Just got to put some bolts in there, put the fan back in, uh, and do the bottom one up, put the water in, put the hoses back on, uh, and we've got ourselves a radiator that won't leak and should also help with the cooling a little bit. It's a bit thicker. Um, it's like a two row big tube in there, so probably like uh, 20, 26 mil tubes or something like that. So yeah, that'll be a good rad. It'll pump out some heat. And then we're gonna quickly vinyl wrap this. I say quick, I've gotta make it quick because I wanna go out and have some fun and it's getting late. Well, it's not that late, it's like 6.30 or something. So we'll get it done, we'll get it done in time. Okay, well I gotta pull the fan shroud back out, but uh, I'll show you why, because these are a lot of things that are missed when people put stuff in their cars that can cause you some serious headaches. So, with the factory fan shroud in, you see down the bottom where that plastic is actually touching the uh, tubes of the radiator. That would not take long for that to wear in and pop a tube. Probably within a thousand k's, I thought that would wear through a tube pretty quick. Just with vibration and stuff, it wouldn't take long. So I'm gonna pop off the fan shroud and I'm gonna just trim back that whole bottom piece. Yeah, because at the top it looks all good, or when it comes up higher. So I'm just going to trim that bottom bit of it back. Uh, I just don't like how that's fitting. So, just sort of things you want to check for, because that would destroy your really nice radiator and make life painful. We don't want that. All right, that's it. I just literally got the um, cutoff wheel out and just cut the slice along the bottom and just gradient this one in, because I know that that gets better as it goes up. So I just yeah taking that bottom edge off so it won't rest on the tubes you definitely don't want that now we've got heaps of clearance down the bottom won't have any issues with the tubes getting rubbed through which would be fantastic god i hope i don't regret this later on tonight um <laughs> right i'm just going to trim out the uh the hole where the wheel is just make it a bit easier to open and uh <laughs> get this stuck on <laughs> Welcome back modifiers to another episode on the four door 33 today we are going to be well fixing all of this not this because this is just epic in fact tell me what you think about this uh we're fixing that all my days so we need this thing many more lows so we're going to go ahead and put some coil overs in it i've got some gecko coil blah, 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 blah. got some gecko coil overs which i'll show you in a second and anna first for this channel we're doing a giveaway so very simple, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and comment on either whether or not you like the new look when it's lowered or something to do with this guard. Whether you like it or not, I know it's very polarizing, so give me your hate, give me your love, tell me what you think about the guard uh, and you'll go in the draw to win this uh, Scarls quick release hub. Now it takes like Momos, it's, uh, it's got two lots of PCD or it's got two patterns on it, so pretty much take any steering wheel. Uh, full quick release. I'll see if I can show you how it works. Uh, pretty standard stuff. So it just, so your steering wheel's on this side and it, that's it, it just pops off. That's pretty much it. So quick release steering wheel. Uh, this is quite a nice unit. I just cop yourself a uh, quick release hub adapter for your steering wheel. Subscribe to my channel. Comment on that guard or the height, something. Let me know what you think about it. Give me the hate, give me the love. All good. Uh, but today, we are going to go ahead and put in these new coilovers. Now, I can't wait, but I think I know I'm gonna have to do something with the, the guards because they are gonna be hella tight. So I'm probably gonna have to pump these out. I may end up ruining this, the bottom side of this wrap. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Let's, uh, let's get these old ones out, the new ones in, and see where we, where we sit. 
To be honest, I can't wait. It's uh, one of those mods that has to be done. The thing is so boaty, so high. Uh, also, the shocks are fucked, so it handles like crap. Um, yeah, I'm doing a lock bar as well, but not today. Let's get into it. Right, here we go. The official unboxing. Look at that. Very nice. We'll take one of those. Pop that there. All right, the front of these are pretty simple. Just two nuts at the top. Uh, get your wheel off. Pretty easy. <coughs> well, my brakes are holding up. They're still looking good. Quite happy with that. Um, yeah, so it's just the one big nut at the bottom. It's got to go this way. Like that. There we go. These will have very little uh, compression. Like when the car sits down, they will only move a small amount. So I'm thinking we start off 100 mil off. I'll make them 100 mil shorter. And in theory, it should be sitting where it was. I don't know, we'll see. I have no idea how these are gonna line up. So I'm gonna set them both at the same height, about 100 mil shorter than the normal shock. And we'll see where we are from there. I will adjust them to suit. Camber, what the hell? Nah, it's, it's sitting on the back of the the, the uh, jack stand. Um, anyway, so that's with basically full load on that strut. It's up in the hole. Um, so I'll wax some nuts on there. That's still not low enough, so I'm gonna drop it another, what do we reckon? Where are we at? Drop it another 20 mil. Let's have a look. I reckon we can drop it. Yeah, I'm gonna drop it another 20 mil on both shocks and see where that's for the front and then we'll do the backs. But uh, already liking the uh, loss of the gap there, that's nice. Oh, 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 that is low. That is low. That is low. I, I told you hey, there's no droop, that's the thing. Yeah. Because that will come, that will still come down to pretty much on the guard when you put it on the ground, eh? About to find out. That is awesome. About to find out where it sits, but it's, uh, Fairly painless. This was the had about the same droop as the back. Yeah. yeah. That is cool. Yeah. Bolted up. Uh, they're uh, bolted in, both adjusted the same height. So yeah, we'll I think, see. I think maybe that's a bit too low. What? Yeah, but, you were too low. Get out of here, mate. I was going to say and too you, high. Yeah, yeah, we're too high. I like his idea. <laughs> and you're going to have to roll the, <laughs> roll the guard like mad. Yeah, that's the whole idea. Pump the fuck out the guard. All right, coming down. See, nice and warm staying in there. Uh, truth, almost. Just give her a minute. Once it thinks about it, it needs bleeding. It's got air in it again. <laughs> You buddy, that's what we want. I'll just roll the guards. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Because that is still gonna, over the next day, that will drop another five mil. But so it's if, probably bang on. If I pump, yeah, if I pump them guards a little bit, yeah. that's, I mean, that's the money. That is cool. That is very cool. Uh, and I'll just leave the rears the same, like that. And we can be the old 80s jacked up. Well, we can be the opposite because he's slammed in the back. Because I'm going like this. Yeah, we can be the opposite rake. That is cool. But that, that's exactly where it needs to be. Yeah. So yeah, it's just... still not as low as my Citroen. Oh, oh well, it's never yeah. going to get that fucking low. Yeah. No reason as low as my Citroen. No. It's so you've done both. Yep, both sides. Oh, that feels good already. I like it. I'm not going to be able to get in and out of it now. See this? Yeah, so you're going to have to roll it out because you're going you're gonna to scrape yeah. on that. That's going to scrape like so a that's, bit. But that's, yeah, no, I'll roll that right out. Oh, yeah, then that's not, not yeah. super tight. But that's tucked in quite nicely. Yeah, it's pulled like, in nice. Yeah. So the offset, the wheels, I'm happy with. 
Yeah. Oh, I'm stoked. This thing looks good. It's gonna look good when we get the back done because we're gonna slam the fuck out the back. And uh, yeah, that's where we want it. So we're gonna jack it back up and I'm just gonna roll the guards a bit. Just pump them out. Maybe they may stretch out a little bit. Um, just do what I can. And uh, yeah, do the backs. All right, uh, rears are pretty simple. Just one bolt through here and your two bolts up the top, which go through to your parcel tray. You just pull your parcel tray out. Uh, in a lot of cases, you don't actually have to, but um, two bolts up top, one down bottom, and they just fall right out. So I'm gonna go adjust the rears, same way I did the front. So there's about 100, 110 mils worth of droop on these, so when they're in the air. So I'm gonna take roughly that out of one and uh, keep them both same, put them in, and then adjust them. All right, this is where we're at with it at full droop. And this will tuck up into here just a little bit, probably about 15 mil. So that's that's good, that's where we're at. I'm just gonna go ahead and roll the guards flat and probably the front as well, just a little bit. But we definitely need to get this flat edge uh, that's up there flush against the, uh, the inner bit, so. Could do that now. Well, we had to uh, modify the um, guard roller a bit because the guard roller's lowest oh, point shit. is too high for how low the car is. So, just hopefully, we've just taken a bit off, like 10 mil off the guard roller, so it should be enough to get the rubber in up under the uh, up under the arch and flatten it back. The car's too low. It's not low enough. Uh, if it doesn't work, then I'll have to de-adjust the suspension down and then do it that way. Which is not a problem, but I've just said it all, so I don't want to do it. After a bit of faffing about with uh, this, um, modified it slightly so it can sit lower. And yeah, been able to roll the guards out. Now, I haven't actually pumped the guards at all. I don't think I'm going to have to, but we'll see. I've um, rolled that this edge up here flat, round to about here, to about here. Uh, which should be enough and all the paint that's cracked off on the inside I sort of just covered with some rough rust protectant. All right so rolling guards is actually quite simple um the biggest thing you're going to get is like paint cracking and if you go too hard too fast you'll like warp the the panel not so much on the rear like you really have to hammer on the rears to make a problem uh, it will split paint uh, but the fronts this is a much thinner material so it's really easy to actually fold over this lip that's under here when you get your roller set up, when you first do your first pass, you kind of want to angle it so, you know, it's trying to fold that inner flap up. So you don't want it flat on against it, you want a bit of an angle. And what I generally do is I start off with these little tangs that hold um, like inner fenders on and stuff. Uh, I'd start off with those tangs and uh, bend them up first and then I work on the rest of it. Because you, know, you can find that you can go too much and then you have really struggled to bend these up. So I always start on those. So I'll put that there. Um, and you just wind it out, roll it up, move it back, wind it up, move it back, and you'll see that the whole lot folds up. Um, <clears throat> all you're trying to do really is fold, I mean, depending on your setup, but for me, I only really need to fold from about here to about here. And as you can see, my brake caliper is actually stopping it here. So this front half here, I'll just gently tap with a mallet which will be real easy um this stuff folds real easy so with a mallet you just support it and just give it light taps and that will fold up nicely and i'll do the rest with the roller well question is will she move i don't know let's go see if she moves I hope she moves but damn that is heaps low heaps lower than what it was before in fact, God, I could even run a wheel spacer in there. They have really nice fitment, actually. They're like a little bit tucked. I thought they weren't, wouldn't be. Well, not, I wouldn't want to say they're tucked, tucked, but. Sweet. Right, let's see if she drives off. I still haven't finished in here, but um, that's the pair of things coming out and uh, I've got to put the finalised gauge pot in. But yeah, other than that, let's see if she... Alright. see if 
she drives out without scraping. So far, so good. Oh, it's it's already feels so much lower. I don't know if my fat ass is going to be able to get in and out of this thing. Well, I am happy to report that there's no scraping. There was a little, well, there's a little rub from the front right, but it was the bung for the. Um, the loom that goes into the body it was like popped out so i put that back in no rubbing i can hit boost no rubbing from the back full lock mint and it's pretty low like i'm happy i wouldn't go any lower than this um because i still want a car that i can drive and hit corners with so it's a success man stoked and i have to be honest man these handle like they're not they don't feel really harsh at all yes no scraping perfect and they, they ride really nice. I've uh, got the front and rear set on eight clicks. I feel good at the moment. I'll keep driving and see how we go. But yeah, I'm absolutely happy as, man. These things make the car look a lot better. Got a lot better handling. And um, yeah. All right, we're done. She's lowered. She's all level, looking good. Well, I think she's looking good. Let's go take a look. 